Today's Friday. What's up, guys? Hope you guys had a great week. Um, this is coming the day after Trump, you know, launched some missiles at Syria. They were expecting the market to be really bad, but then, like, it, the market dropped a lot, and then it came right back up. So it's pretty much even now. So hopefully we'll have a good day. I have a lot of work to do, and I gotta take a shower really bad. <laughs> oh, we might be down a little bit today. The market uh, just opened. Oh yeah, but Twilio's having a good day today. I forget what, I don't know what happened with it, but Twilio, check it out. It's up 4% right now, it's at the top of the list. And then AMD coming right back after Goldman downgraded it yesterday. By the way, I think Goldman just downgrades stuff so that the price will go down so they could buy shares. Pretty sure it's illegal, I don't know how they haven't been getting, like, I don't know how they haven't been getting caught with that yet. They did that with Tesla recently. Pretty sure they, uh, they like sold a bunch of shares and then they downgraded it right afterwards. And I thought there was like a lawsuit over that, but I don't know, but they just seem to downgrade stuff. And then, I don't know, I think they buy it right afterwards. I don't really trust anything that Goldman does based on that. Cause look at AMD, it's going right back up the day after they downgraded it. And it, it did go down a lot yesterday. I'm not sure if te like Tesla's going down a little bit today, but they're not, oh, they're actually up now. Last I checked, they were down a little bit, like two seconds ago. So they're up right now. I still want to protect my profits, and um, I'm going to try to set a stop limit order where I, I let the duration go longer than what it is. So let's hit this. Let's go to options here. All right, so I'm going to type in Tesla and sell to close because I <clears throat> currently own the share or the, the options. So I'm going to see what it's currently trading at and then set a stop limit order to protect some profits here, September 15th. Uh, I did not honestly expect to get into the money on this one so quickly, but we did. So, because Elon Musk is the man. Um, so let's see, call. All right, so right now, if I were to sell it, I would get $30.65 a share. I did buy it at $17.95 a share, so I'm up quite a bit with them. So let's do a stop. You know what, let's try a stop limit. Just because I've never done it before. Let's just give it a try. So my limit price, let's just say it's at $30. I'm going to say $29.50. I do have a lot of time. So like I could hold on to it longer. I'm going to lower this to $29.25. Oh, I think it has to be in increments of 10 for some reason. So I'm going to do that. So the stop price. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought this was a stop price. I'm going to do the limit price to 20 Stop price $29.20. So which means if this number hits... 29.20, it'll trigger this into a limit order, which will set the limit at 29. So as long as the price is above $29, it will sell itself and I will guarantee my profits. If it somehow jumps over that and goes down below 29, it will wait until it goes back up to above 29 and sell. And so, uh, yeah, I'm not sure like if that's the best strategy. I really, I'm trying to, I'm having a hard time grasping that concept. Like why not just sell it at here instead of setting a limit and a stop? I don't, really know but we're gonna do that anyways oh whoops i gotta change order um duration down here it says today now it says good until canceled or good till date so I, what i could do is i could set a time limit on this for how long i want this limit order to be like open yesterday i just did today and so since you know it's tomorrow it canceled that order so now i have to redo it but what i could do i could say good until canceled like that and that way it will just stay there until this actually happens. And then if it doesn't happen, like if the price goes up, I'm definitely gonna modify this and raise this up a bit to lock in more profits. So that's the strategy I'm doing here. I'm gonna hit review order, and then I'm gonna hit place order. So the commission is a little lower, I like that. That's not bad at all. And then this is how much I would get if I, were, I think if I were to sell it at this price. So it's definitely more than what I spent on it. So I'm gonna hit place order, and then I'm gonna put that guy away. And then I'm gonna scroll up here, and now you'll see it'll be on my open orders section, which is right here. So, so it's open and it says sell to close at this stop limit. So if the price for my Apple call gets, or I'm sorry, Tesla call, which is tri currently like at 30, whatever dollars it was. If for some reason it takes a while to update on here, I don't know why it does that, but if that drops to 29, it will sell and I will guarantee a profit. So hopefully, I'm hoping it doesn't hit that like right now because it's still really early. This I have a lot of time left, but because Tesla went on such a high run, I'm expecting it to pull back a bit. And so what I'm hoping will happen is this will sell, I'll get my profits, 
then it'll go down more and then I'll just buy the same thing again and ride the wave back up. Or I might like set that to maybe um, January 2018. I'll give myself a little bit more time. But I'm hoping, I do expect Tesla to go back up even if it does go down. So, yeah. All right, at this point I started to ramble again. So I'm just gonna do a little summary of what happened here. Uh, I was looking at the five day chart for Nvidia and noticed that its stock was coming down quite a bit. Um, so I thought this would be a great opportunity to buy and get back into Nvidia. As you can see in February they peaked and then they started hit, they hit that dip in March and they were approaching that same level. So as you can see there on the right, the 52 week high was February 7th of this year. So I decided to um, buy some more shares. I could only afford 95 shares at this point, but you know, as we all know what happened with Nvidia stock, I should have definitely purchased options. So I really don't know what I was thinking there. I think I was just trying to play less the less risky route. But um, so there you go. I didn't go with my gut and I missed out on a lot of profits. So let's let's find out how much Nvidia is trading for. So I'm gonna hit I'm just gonna hit buy. It's, it's already on stock, so I'm gonna type in Nvidia, NVDA. That's the ticker symbol. Even numbers, I'm, I have OCD like that. We're just gonna do 95. And then uh, I'm gonna do market. I'm just gonna get in right now. Because if it keeps going up, I'm gonna be very pissed. Like I could set a limit order, like right now, and be like, okay, if it drops down to $100, $101 even, then buy it, which it will do if the price drops. But if the price doesn't drop, then I'm just missing out on more profits. And I don't like to do that. So I usually do market. That's usually what I do. I feel like it's on the rebound, so I don't think it's gonna go back down below 101. I think it's gonna go up before it goes down. Oh, actually it is going down. <laughs> so I still, it's pretty close to 101 anyway, so F it, I'm just gonna get in there now. I'm really not gonna be worried about 13 cents per share. It's like not that big a deal. All right, so we're in. So let's see what our balances drop down to. Okay, we're down. I know, oh, Scott trade $38,000. <laughs> Um, so I got to pay interest on that. So I really hope that this does the stock does well. I'm gonna hit refresh. You'll see Nvidia will pop up. There we go, 95 shares. Now it's assuming I bought it before today, so that's why it's saying I'm up $32 when I'm not. What you have to do is look at your executed orders, see the exact price that you got in at, which was $101 and basically nine cents. So. You can see right now it's up a little bit more than what I bought it for, so we're up like a penny or so, I don't know. But, so yeah, so this price, I'm looking for it to go up above this price if I wanna see how much I made on it today. But other than that, um, NVIDIA's a good stock too because they do pay dividends. It's not a lot, but they do pay a little bit of dividends, so you can make some money, guaranteed. And um, again, I'm expecting their price, so I'm expecting this price to come back up to this level. And if it does go above this level, I'm gonna set a order so that it sells at that level no matter what. And so I'll lock in all this profit right in this range here. Um, Cause even if it goes up $8, $8 times my 95 shares, that's 760 bucks. And so divided by, let's see how much I put into it. Um, so this is how you can calculate your return here. I spent $9,610, so so that that profit divided by 96 10 08 you hit and you hit equals and so like if this did if this does go up eight dollars per share and I make an eight dollar profit per share that's gonna be a 7.9 percent return which I'm expecting to happen relatively soon so like if that happens in a month that's a really good return to get in a month on a stock seven percent I mean for a year it's decent especially if you're not borrowing any money but since I'm borrowing money I need to do like for the year, I need to be 8%, but to get 8% in a month or so, that's really good. So that's my plan for this. I really hope it plays out. Um, and I actually hope it goes up even more because then I can keep raising, I can keep raising my uh, limit order, just keep bumping it up and bumping it up until I have a lot of profit and then I'll just make even more profit. Um, I don't want to ramble. So let's just, we'll just come back and see how we're doing for the day. It looks like we're up a little bit so far, so that's good. Um, we had a loss yesterday, which broke our streak, by the way. So we need to hopefully, hopefully we can get back on a new streak. All right, we'll see you guys in a bit. Unemployment rate's pretty low, so that's really good for the markets. They said it was like its lowest it's been since 2007. Oh, there you go. <laughs> um, so that's that's really phenomenal, I think. Um, that's that's great for stocks, of course. But listen where you tell you, he mentions Tesla, because he says exactly what I've been saying this whole time. Check it out. Big story well, this week. There is a valuation case uh, <laughs> for you. I mean, 
I, I talked this week about so-called story stocks. It's this kind of rarefied group where none of the numbers matter. So just forget the traditional metrics. And I think I have to say Tesla may be the ultimate story stock of all time. Because <laughs> it doesn't just have one story. It has multiple stories going. And every time people start to get just a little fatigued with one of them, like, oh, it's an electric car. Oh, it's environmentally friendly. They... Elon Musk is a genius here. He leaps to the next story. So, so he's saying pretty much what I've been saying this whole time. Like, with Tesla, the reason I invested in them was not because of their numbers, which a lot of people look at, and a lot of people missed out on tons of profits because of that. Like, you can't always evaluate every single stock on the planet based on the same metrics because some companies... Let me lower this a little bit, sorry. Because some companies... Yeah, they operate on their profits and their margins and all that stuff. Like, the numbers matter with those companies. With companies like Tesla, which is very forward-thinking and innovative and doing things in the future, um, those numbers don't matter because it's all about what are they coming out with next, and it's all hype with them. And so I personally love Tesla because I test drove one of their cars, and it was, like, the best car I've ever driven. And I love, I love Elon's uh, view on the world and how we should be moving towards renewable energy. So I'm, I'm bullish for, on Tesla for that reason. If I was just looking at numbers, I would have stayed far away from Tesla and I would have made no money. Te so so, there, so you kind of have to, when you're investing in stocks, you really want to decide like, okay, is this a company that its stock moves based on numbers or does it move based on like hype and future prospects? And with Tesla, it's totally that one. That's totally the latter with, with Tesla. And that's why I invested in them. And that's why I've been very profitable with them. But it is a volatile stock, so you got to keep a close eye on it because it could start going down, and then you need to you need to get out and wait for it to come back up. But yeah, so one of these days uh, I'm gonna do a video. I did I just shot one recently about how much pro total profit I've made with Apple, and I'm gonna do one with Tesla, uh, so you guys can see exactly how much I made with them, and hopefully that'll give you a good understanding of like uh, how you should approach uh, stock certain stocks. Uh, but a lot of people hate Tesla, and so it really depends on who you talk to. You're going to talk to people who don't like Tesla. You're going to talk to people who do like Tesla. And um, and I'm not saying I always like Tesla. There's been periods of time where I never owned Tesla. Like I sold I sold Tesla. I stayed out of it for months. And um, so there's been times where I wasn't investing in Tesla. But the times I did, it was because it was for specific reasons. So we'll talk about that in a future video. Uh, anyways, we'll we'll come back in a little bit and see how uh, how the stocks are doing. All right, so I think we lost like very like a small amount of money today. Not too bad. Um, again, I bought Nvidia stock today, so that kind of threw off the total calculation. But I mean, it literally was like we pretty much were even today. Not much happened. Um, pretty calm. If you kind of let me zoom out here a little bit, the percentages. Everything was in single digits today. Nothing really crazy in either direct either direction. Excuse me. So yeah, I'll take that, you know, it's whatever. We did really good this week, so um, I'm pretty sure we finished up for the week. I'm pretty, I think we made money Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then we lost money yesterday and today. So I'm not too mad about that. You know, we can't win them all, obviously, so we were due, we were due for a couple of days of losses. Hopefully we'll see, see them come back up next week. I'm feeling good about NVIDIA. I don't know why. I just have a good feeling that they're going to come back a little bit. Um, Tesla is... I was expecting to come down, but they haven't. So I actually bumped up my uh, my limit. I bumped it up from $29 to $29.30. So um, that's, you know, $0.30 cents a share more, but it's times 100 because each contract is 100 so it's really $30 and I have two of them. So it's really $60 more profit I locked in just by adjusting that price. So I locked in another 60 bucks there. Um, and if it goes up again, like on Monday, I'll probably bump it up again, maybe to like 29.60 or something like that, just depending on what the price is. Um, hopefully it continues to go up. I'm really excited. I mean, they don't have much new things though coming right now. So it's gonna be kind of, I don't know, it might be kind of quiet for the next couple of months, but if they start posting more about their Model 3 production, we can see the stock price go up even more. So, yeah, so I'm really excited about that. AMD, of course, you know, um, goes up after we sell our calls, figures. Um, would have made money with that today, but whatever. 
I just, I just feel like that always happens. I mean, you guys probably can, you guys probably already lost count how many times that's happened to me so far, just from this vlog. Um, yeah, so, you know, not much happened. Um, but we do have another dividend paying stock, which is cool. May 1st, we get some dividends, so that's awesome. And May 10th, we get paid some dividends. So, not from that one, but from other ones. So yeah, that about wraps it up. All right, so I'll wrap up this week's uh, this week. Um, hope you guys had a fantastic week. I hope you guys made some money if you're in the market right now. If you're not, hope you guys are um, getting close to getting in there. And um, yeah, so please hit that like button if you did like this video. And pretty uneventful day today as far as the market goes. Nothing really happened, but I'll take a day like this over a, you know a day like yesterday, <laughs> any day of the week. So. Uh, yeah, with that said, um, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, and I hope you guys are liking the vlog so far. I uh, hope you guys are learning a lot, and if you do want to see more, uh, I've been getting some ideas in the comments, so I'm going to definitely make some videos based on what uh, people are requesting in the comments section. So keep them coming, and um, I'll keep making some more videos. So hope you guys had a fantastic week, hope you guys have a great weekend, and we will see you tomorrow.